we got more mini releases from Charlotte Tilbury. I know people are like, oh, another release. But honestly, I much prefer these little releases where it's less money per order as opposed to like giant collections. So I'm, I'm not really that mad at it. And Charlotte Tilbury is one of my favorite brands. I just think they have all around great quality. So I've been liking the mini releases. I know that she has a mascara coming and normally I wouldn't purchase that, but I want to get that and then maybe do like a wrap up of all of these mini releases, a full face of that, because that's what we seem to be working towards. But anyways, let's talk about this little release. So she came out with a jewel pot, only one color in the US, but it does seem like in the UK, you guys got a second color, you lucky ducks. So I got the one that the US had, and then also she came out with two jewel lips. This is a new formula from her. And I mean, these just look like kind of dazzling, glittery, gleamy, shiny glosses. So I got both of the colors of these. This one has an interesting claim that I will get into, but no new shade, just free promotions basically of Walk of Shame and Pillow Talk. I don't have the Walk of Shame quad. I kind of wish I got that, but we'll start off with the Jewel Pod. This is what I'm most excited about because I love a glittery shadow. So the shade that they have is Walk of No Shame, which I keep saying Walk of Shame, but she renamed it to Walk of No Shame. I don't know. Sounds like there was like some type of legal like name copyright thing. That's what I'm guessing. But everything, by the way, is limited edition. So that includes this. It's $35, which is <laughs> a lot of money for a little, how much? Three gram little iPod. Just so you know, like a Mac paint pot is five grams and this is $35. So as per usual, Charlotte Tilbury gives you a little bit of product for like a lot of money. Thank goodness she has good quality products most of the time. So the shade that came to the US, Walk of No Shame, seems like there's also a pillow tuck in the, in your that's available, which I kind of wish we got here because I really love Pillow Talk. I do. So this is a copper red cream eyeshadow with a divine golden sparkle to light up your eyes. Kind of looking through her very extravagant explanation. It's a jewel texture to light up your eyes. There's diamond powder, multi-layered pearl pigments, hyaluronic acid, which is interesting, vitamin E, argan oil, macadamia oil, rosehip oil, so it's supposed to be moisturizing on the eye and just give a multi-dimensional effect to the eyelid. I mean, you know, not a crazy new innovative product. So the packaging though looks so stunning. It's a plastic. It's not like really heavy, but the way that it looks is so luxe. And then you have this gorgeous jewel on top. I really love the packaging. I just think she finds a way to really keep her packaging sophisticated and luxurious without like straying too far away from her normal packaging. So let's open it. I haven't even opened it. So it has a little press and cover. Make sure you keep this. This keeps the lifespan of these longer and it it allows you to kind of repress everything in. I just think that these are useful. And here's what she's looking like in the pot. Let's swatch. Ooh, it's slick like silicone, but it's not silicone. It's hard to explain, but it is very slick feeling in a good way. I have foundation on my hand because I'm doing a foundation wear test right now, but that applied with a lot of color and you can see that dimension. Ooh, I'm excited for this. I think I might really, really like this. Yeah, and I see that gold sparkle running through. Make sure you, when you close these, you really tighten them so that way they can keep their lifespan. I'm going to put just a little bit of MAC paint pot all over my lid so that we can cover the discoloration. And I do want to put a quick shade in the crease. I'll talk about her regular cream shadows in a second. So I'm going to take just a little tiny bit of this plummy shade from the Mesmerizing Maroon palette. And I'm really going to clean off my brush and I'm going to do just a really small wash. I'm using the BK Beauty 201 brush, by the way. This is from Brit Clark's brush set. So soft. This is my first time playing today with the BK stuff and really great synthetic brushes. Very high quality. So I'm just doing a wash and making sure I'm not packing the color on. I just want something to add a background to the jewel shade. I'm just going to use a finger to apply. <gasps> Ooh, that's really pretty. Now there's not actually, compared to how it's swatched, there's not a really opaque base to it. 
it's almost more so I would say like a lid topper though you actually don't need to put it on top of anything because it's like really gorgeous and glittery on its own but if you want to make more of a statement put a color underneath it and then that will really make it pop and change the whole dimension and finish of that base color oh I really like this this is very easy to apply really pretty and you really have a lot of playroom with this meaning you can do just a really light layer for just a light touch or you can kind of build it up to get it a little bit more intense. Oh, you guys, that's really pretty. Charlotte has a cream eyeshadow in a pot formula already. This is very, very different. I wouldn't really compare the two. Her original cream formula, it's actually cream. When you put your finger in, you can get a lot of product, whereas this, you can't actually scoop out product. It, it has that more slick consistency. It's very hard to explain, but basically you can scoop up the cream shadow. You can't scoop up this. Complete different texture, complete different finish. Her cream shadows have more of a shimmer metallic finish, whereas this one, as you can see, it's like a lid topper, has a more glittery finish. Now, this isn't like a chunky glitter by any means. It's very, very fine, but you see what I mean when it has glitter reflex as opposed to her cream shadows, which let me just show you so you can see. So completely different colors, but you can instantly see how this, you can definitely scoop it up. It's just creamier and it has a metallic finish as opposed to this glitter finish. I wouldn't recommend one over the other by the way they're just different products if you ask me so i'm gonna do liner and lashes i'm gonna put a little bit of shadow on my lower lash line as well and we'll move on to the lips sorry i lied and i did something off camera that i wanted to tell you so i used the bk beauty 207 from that brick clark set and i put this color on my lower lash line it was very very pigmented i didn't do a wash like i did on my crease so there was a more pigmented layer underneath and i used the same brush and it picked up beautifully on this brush because it's so dense and i I applied it right on top and you can see how gorgeous that is over that burgundy shade. Oh, this is beautiful to layer over other shadows. All right, now I'm gonna finish the eyes and I'll be right back. Oof. With lashes, it just pulled everything together. I also used the copper matte eyeliner to line my eyes. So let's move on to the jewel lips. This is a new formula from Charlotte. So Pillow Talk is gonna come in the beautiful Pillow Talk packaging. Walk of No Shame has more maroon packaging. Look at this, you guys. The components themselves are gorgeous. I love the glitter cap and they're just so pretty. So obviously she came out with the two colors. These are $32 each. They are still limited edition. You get four milliliters of product. So an interesting claim when I was reading her description is this lasts up to seven hours apparently now. Obviously these claims are always a little bit outrageous and untrue but Charlotte's seven hours girl so I'm gonna see if this is like a long wearing gloss. I'm not gonna wear it for seven hours but I'll let you guys know. Hyaluronic acid vitamin E, film former polymer, diamond powder, dual tone pearls, it's supposed to hide the fine lines in the lips, sheer wash a glimmering glossy color, non sticky and it's supposed to look like glass basically on the lips. So I'm going to use Super Size Me lip liner. So just on the outside of the lips applicator it looks like this. It has a slight vanilla scent. Obviously the lighter one is Pillow Talk, the deeper one is Walk of No Shame. Walk of No Shame has that golden shift that the eye one does as well and what I like is it doesn't seem to have any kind of chunky glitters in it. Just that really fine shimmer. Cool. Okay, so let's just try Pillow Talk out on the lips first. Okay, so it applies very nice and easy to the lip. No drag. Very, very smooth formula. Not sticky at all. No glitter chunks. And that's really pretty. This is pretty soft. It's not like a pigmented color by any means, but that looks nice. So that's Pillow Talk with Super Size Me Liner. Um, I'm going to wear Walk of No Shame just to go with the eyes today. And this has a bit more richness to it. I do feel like there is a difference in the color. Like if you get both, you're not gonna be disappointed. Like they're too close. No, they're not, they're different. And again, you still get that really subtle glitter that you can see on the lips. I wouldn't say these are like a revolutionary formula, but they're a very nice formula. They're flattering, they're moisturizing, they're plumping, not minty or anything, but they make your lips look plumper because of their shine. I mean, they're nice lip glosses. So I want to do a bit of a wear test just to see if this lasts, if 
it's going to crease and if this lip gloss is long wearing. So far, so good. I really like the products. I do think they're a bit pricey, but I mean, you come to expect that with Charlotte Tilbury. Really love the Jewel Pot. $35 though is really, really a lot of money for it. I do love lid toppers like these. So, so far I'm really liking this and I think it's just so easy and it gives a really nice Charlotte Tilbury finish. Like this is a Charlotte Tilbury eye. Love it. This is why I go to Charlotte Tilbury. The lip glosses seem to be quite a solid formula. They're really pretty. They're not exceptionally glittery and I do like them. I mean, I don't know if you need them. So I'm going to be back in a few hours and I'll let you know the final results. All right, you guys. So I thought I would give you a little midday update on the items. So I did eat lunch and the gloss stayed pretty well, but I did want to reapply because that's just not fair. So I've had this lip gloss on for about four hours. You can see it left a little bit of a stain, a little bit still there. I mean, it's not going to last you seven hours. I mean, no products last that long on me unless it's like a liquid lipstick. I didn't expect anything crazy like that. I do think it is a decently long wearing lip gloss. It's not super long wear, but for a lip gloss, I was pretty impressed, but it's a lip gloss, you guys. It's going to come off and the eyes right now are looking fantastic. I don't have any greasing or anything still looks just as good no fallout of glitter so so far so good i will check it in for more hours Okay, so I did just want to do a quick little eight hour check-in to give you guys the thumbs up on these products. Like I said, a gloss is a gloss. It's not going to last forever, but I think it's a nice gloss. I think, you know, you don't need these glosses, but they are nice if you do want them. I like the Walk of Shame color a little bit better, and it's just a really nice, pretty, comfortable, good gloss formula. What really has stood out to me, though, is the Jewel Pot. This has kept its intensity, and there is no sign of creasing. Honestly, I think this formula is better than her eyes to mesmerize cream shadows because those do crease like if after you've been wearing them they start to break up this there is no breaking up at all so I think she really nailed it with this formula I know $35 is pricey but it's so good and I just kept admiring this throughout the day whenever the light would hit or I'd go into a mirror it just looks so beautiful especially when the sunlight hits so this is a 10 out of 10. I highly recommend this. And if Pillow Talk ever comes to the US, I most certainly will be getting it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you found it helpful. If you aren't subscribed to my channel already, I would love it if you would consider taking the time to do so. Thumbs up, comment, all that good stuff. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.